Hi, this is Ruin Glyphberg. We're here in Budapest, and uh, you're watching Offline Web Shop. Well, it's your first time here in Budapest? Uh, actually, it's my second time here in Budapest. I uh, was here in, I think, 2006, maybe, for, uh, it was with the Gumball, you know, the Gumball Rally, the car, the car rally, yeah. yeah. I was here with that, um, but I didn't get to skateboard. It was just very quick. We just stayed one night. We were like that out of the uh, Hungering and uh, some hotels and that. What's up? The Big Bath, the Big Bath place, the famous one. It was like a big party up there. Yeah, there's a big party up there. And, yeah, it was cool. So it's my second time here. It's a beautiful city. I love it. Went walking around earlier and um, you know just kind of sightseeing a little bit. So yeah. How is your uh, race license? We talk about. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did one race this year. I did one race last year, and uh, yeah, just been been doing it a little bit, but. I have, I've been super busy this year skateboarding, so I haven't got to get out with my uh, car and race and all that stuff lately, so. Um, you said you're so busy this year because of a uh, burning contract? You know, I, um, I did my 25th anniversary back in Copenhagen, so I was super busy kind of like lining that whole uh, event up, you know what I mean? It was, uh, it was a lot of work to like kind of produce an event like that, like pretty much all by myself, you know what I mean? I had some help from all my sponsors financially and everything, but putting everything together was all me, but there's been a lot of contests and um, we just went with uh, Burn to uh, Argentina to do a short film down there, so we did a, like a little three minute short film so, uh, that we so actually yesterday. premiered yesterday, yeah, at the uh, offline game, so um, yeah, so we did that and then, uh, you know, X Games and a bunch of stuff around the U.S. do tours and just, uh, yeah, different, different stuff, you know, traveling, skateboarding and uh, just staying busy, yeah. I don't know, a lot of skateboarding and um, I have a business in Denmark, we uh, distribute Volcom and uh, so I go on a tent to that usually every day, go to the office for a little bit and check that out and just uh, skateboard, hang out with the kids and um, yeah. I don't know, normal stuff, I guess. Are you have also a skate shop or, or you own a skate no, shop? It's no, it's, not, it's just a distribution, yeah, yeah. We don't have a shop. Guys and like Volcom then? Yeah, yeah, we have, we have a few guys that we sponsor there. A guy called Balda and another kid called Alexander. Just like young kids, up and coming, you know, like 17, 18 years old that are, you know, I think that are really good and, um, you know, they're doing it. Are you are here with your wife, right? Yes, yes. And where are your daughters? Oh, uh, my, my daughters are with their uh, grandparents, my mother-in-law, so. <laughs> uh, in Denmark? Yeah, in Denmark, yeah. How many time you spend in Denmark and in the U.S.? Um, well, I've lived in the U.S. since 1994, so I've been spending most of my time over there, but um, just this summer we, uh, we wanted to move back to Copenhagen, so we'll be spending more time back in Denmark and then uh, a little less time in the US but still traveling back and forth a lot, you know. Did you enjoy the pro session? Uh, yes, yes, it was very enjoyable. Um, you know, all the local skaters were super fun and rad and uh, you know, it was very uh, it was a nice, respectful session and just fun and just how it should be really, you know.